Hello everyone and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick channel. And we're racing race B this morning. It's just started at 8 o'clock this morning. And we are here at uh, Deep Forest Raceway Reverse. Um, so it's uh, it's certainly an interest. It's a good race, actually. It's a good fun, good fun track. Lots of great corners, great overtaking. Um, and I'm now a B-rank driver, so I'm not as good as I was. Um, but this was a classic. Honestly, it's just full of absolute dive bombs, all sorts of shenanigans going on. Um, it's quite funny to watch. It was quite funny. I was laughing away when I was actually doing the race, but I think it's actually worth doing because it is quite fun if you're looking to do races this week, but watch your DR because it will probably um, crash um, as mine has done. But people are using the Lamborghini Gallardos. Um, some people are also using the Porsches. Um, it seems to be quite reasonable. There's even someone doing an Alfa Romeo there. But without any further ado, let's get into the race. So here we are on the start. Now I'm not actually following, uh, not in my car, I'm following it because this chap here managed to do a great bit of driving as we come into the first corner. We've already got one person out, um, must have had a problem there. And then we break, he avoids the, the fair on, but not me. And then he comes round the left-hand side, look at this, and just to make matters worse, there's Biobi, and he just smacks into him again. So already I'm back to last place, but there's all sorts of shenanigans going on up ahead. Um, it's, it's good conditions here, we're on the racing hard tyre, but it's nice sunny conditions, and this track is wide, so it's really good fun actually to be able to overtake and to challenge. You can see what's been going on. Lots of people with a five second penalty there in the Alfa Romeo so that's going to pretty much put him out of the race and they're all coming up saying they're going to be getting ready for the penalty line and as they come up the hill there are the top six drivers um, and so this is great actually this is a good way to get a good exit from the bottom of the hill you can make up some places uh, again this is mainly a B-rated drive a B-rated lobby with the top times being around about a 202 so I didn't actually set a time so we'll see exactly what happens. Coming in here, we're going to break um, probably as almost at the start of the sunlight there as it comes into the tunnel. And then nicely through here. It's a bit of a train as we go through. But I think this could be quite competitive and times will come down. I know Tisley's done like a 158.9, I think thereabouts, which is a really good time. You better kind of join up every corner here to try and have a good lap. Well, let's go back down the field and see what's happening. See where I am, because I'm miles away. Look at that. That's another penalty for Nico, uh, 106 PR. Um, lovely uh, library there, but clearly has caused a few issues. So there is the Veyron on the Veyron. Oh, he comes right across there and pushes that car out of the way, the 12th place car. Look at that, and in for good, he takes him out again. My goodness, all it is is crashes and smashes. And for once, I'm not last. I think I'm actually... Oh no, that was me. He took me out. It was me. Goodness me, I can't even remember what I was doing. So here I am. So I've been wiped out at the start. Wiped out at the end of the first lap. Will it be a third? Well, I do my name in crashes and smashes. But <laughs> it was still kind of crazy because I thought, hang on a minute. These are B-rank B drivers. You've got to be crazy. Now, I missed my braking and went a bit wide. But let's, uh, let's skip on a bit so that we can catch up with the action. Now here we go, we're up to the Veyron again, and we've got Mo in 14th place. And he was protecting his lines here. And that, and you know, the thing is, you're gonna have people who have just started out, and then you've got people who are kind of working their way up. I mean, I've been playing this since 1997, probably, when Gran Turismo first came out. That, um, so you kind of, especially online, obviously no one here as long as that, probably for about eight years, seven or eight years, maybe about 2016, 2017. There is the number 13 car also out. Now here it's very tricky because if you, there's a kind of lift or a kind of, if you get it wrong, there's a kind of bump. And then of course you can then go far too wide and end up hitting the arm door. So we are coming up almost neck and neck as we complete lap two. And that was fairly clean, fairly clean. Well, that's a miracle for a B-ranked lobby. So we're coming into the first corner. Get my braking a little, little bit better into first gear. I'm just going to try and get through. I've got plenty of space there. Uh, it was a wee bit deep. 
just managed to keep it on the track, but at least we got ahead. And now we are, although we're neck and neck, as you see, coming into the right-hander, I'll give him plenty of space. And then turning right, and he gives me plenty of space. And then that allows me to head on up the hill. Let's get up to the next cars. And a relatively clean lap. So we are now going to start our final lap. And that was a 204, but that was two seconds quicker than my first. A couple of laps, it just shows you how slow it was. And when you get stuck behind people, what can happen? So, into the right-hander. I actually quite like this track this way round. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I will skip ahead because we want to get up to that Veyron in the Porsche. Now, the Porsche has a poor exit at the bottom of the hill, and that allows me to go past. And then we're going to be in the slipstream for the Bugatti now. At the moment, he was about two and a bit seconds ahead, but by the end of the race, we did catch up. We maybe just needed a little bit more time. Here we are getting a reasonable exit. Not bad if a Lamborghini can keep up with a Veyron, considering how fast the Veyron can do. But there you go. First race gives you an idea of race B this week. It is actually quite fun. I do recommend you have a go and have a fantastic week. Tonight we've got James Rupert on the show at quarter past eight, so make sure you join us for that. But if you like what you see, give us a like and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you very soon. Bye just now.